Hello my YouTube friends, if you live stream games, it's almost a must that you use a camera to capture yourself somewhere on the screen while you're live streaming. I know there are a few Twitch streamers that don't use one, but the odds are much higher for you to find success if you do. So I'm gonna show you how to set one up a few different ways today to get the look you want on your live streams. So let's get to it. <laughs> If you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel and click that bell so you don't miss any new content. I can't stress enough how important a face cam is for game streamers. Data shows that your audience finds it much easier to connect with you when they can actually see you. There are a couple of methods to add a face cam, so let's start simple with just the camera. This one is really easy. You can see I already have the game loaded here. So if you don't know how to do that, this is not the video for you. This is just how to add a face cam. And I created a whole new scene so I could show you how to set this up. And that scene's called main game. You can see it down on the bottom left. And in main game under sources, I am going to go ahead and click the plus and I'm going to select video capture device. And I'll just call this one me and I'm gonna click okay. Now I'm going to drop this down and select the proper camera. In this case, I'm gonna use the cam link and I'm gonna select custom under resolution and make it 1080. And then I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom and I'm gonna select use custom audio device and I'm going to select the audio device from my cam link as well. And then I'm going to click okay. So now it's in here. All I have to do is resize this window. So you can just grab these little points on the corners and drag them so you can resize the window. And let's say you wanted to crop it a little bit. All you need to do is hold down the Alt key on your keyboard and you can drag one of these points to crop this image, make it smaller. And I'm gonna crop the left and the right, crop a little on the bottom, crop a little bit on the top. And of course, I'm just holding down the Alt key and then dragging these points with my mouse and that's how that's done. Pretty simple. Now I can move it anywhere on the screen that I want. It keeps the crop, all that kind of good stuff. And that is the most simple and basic face cam. The second way to make your broadcast even more dynamic is to add a frame to your face cam. And you can even animate it if you want. I'm gonna show you how. So the next one I'm gonna show you is how to add a frame to your face cam. And we're gonna use a little bit more of an advanced technique. We're gonna use a nested scene. And the reason why is gonna become pretty apparent once I set this up. But the first thing I wanna do is go down into scenes and go ahead and click the plus to add a new scene. And I'm gonna call this one NS frame and I'm gonna click okay. Now in this new scene, I'm gonna click the plus and I'm gonna add my camera. And I can use the same camera that I already added in the first one. So I'll just select that and add me. And I'm gonna shrink it down to however I want it. Next, I'm gonna click the plus under sources again. And this time I'm going to select image. Now I'm going to name my image. We're going to call this one nested frame and I'll click OK. And now I just need to browse to the image file that I already created that is my image frame. And this is just a PNG file. It's pretty simple to create in Photoshop or Pixlr or something like that. You can see it's nothing complicated. And I'll just drag this over my image frame and we'll get everything all squared away. It doesn't really seem like it fits all that well, but that's no problem. What we'll do is we'll take this image here and we'll move it appropriately. And then we'll We'll just crop some of it out at the top. To do that, of course, we once again hold the Alt key and just drag one of these points. So now we have our nested scene with a frame. And you're gonna see how easy this is to just add it to any scene. So let's go back into our main game and I'm gonna remove this picture of me. All I have to do is right click on it and click remove. Now I'm gonna click the plus under sources and I'm gonna go to scene and I'm going to add an existing and we're gonna go to this NS frame. And there we go. Now our image with the frame has been added. You can see when we move this around, it moves the frame and me. We never have to worry about them separating and you can add this camera into any scene you want. Now I'm gonna show you how to add an animated frame and it's not too difficult. So let's go back into our nested scene and I'm gonna take this nested frame and just remove it. Then I'm going to click the plus and I'm gonna to go to media source and I'm gonna call this one nested frame again and click okay. Now I wanna make sure I have a loop selected because this is an animated frame and then I'm gonna click browse and I'm just gonna go and find my frame. Once I find it, I just select it and then I click open 
and I'm gonna click OK. And there we go, here is our frame. Now all we have to do is resize it so that my camera box fits inside this little frame here. And it's not a heavy dose of animation, just a little bit of a kind of color change and some scrolling. I think it looks pretty cool. But this is not difficult to create in After Effects if you're interested in creating an animated frame like this. If you are, let me know in the comments and maybe I'll put together a video about how to set this up. Now we're gonna go back into main game and what I'm gonna do is you can see it's already there because we've already added this nested frame. So now I can move it anywhere I want with the animation. It's just too easy almost. This is the awesome thing about using nested scenes. So in this example, I was able to just change the frame from that plain white one to this animated one. And when I go to any scene that's actually using that scene in it, it's already changed. I don't have to worry about anything. The last one I wanna show you is how to use a face cam with a green screen. This one is really popular because it takes up less space and it's a lot less intrusive on the screen. As you can see, I've got a green screen loaded up here and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just mute that for a second or hide it. And I'm gonna go down into my nested frame that we already created. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove that frame. We don't need it, that's not the point here. And you can see that I have a green screen background. It covers most of my background. I can tell you that the most important aspect of doing any green screen work is making sure that your green screen is lit properly. And you'll see what I mean when I go to apply the chroma. But in this case, it seems to be lit mostly okay. So all I really need to do is use the Alt key and go ahead and crop up the image so we cut out some of the areas that the green screen doesn't cover. And there we go. So now I'm gonna right click on that camera under sources and I'm gonna select filters. Now in filters, I wanna click this plus down here in the bottom left and I'm going to select chroma key. And you can see right away that my background, instead of being green, becomes gray. And what we wanna do is we wanna to try to make as much of this background completely gray as we possibly can. And that flat gray is what we're going for. You notice in the lower left and right edges, we do have some areas that aren't totally colored. And that is due to poor lighting. And I really don't do much to fix that here in this video, but just so you know, when you see that, if you don't adjust your lighting properly or you don't have that area cropped out, it's probably not gonna look very good. So when you see areas like that, you can do all the things that I'm doing right now to adjust it, to minimize those areas as much as possible. And once you're done, there you go. You have basically the black screen. And since we use this in a nested scene, all I have to do now is go over to my main game scene Scene. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna remove this nested frame scene and I'm going to go ahead and click the plus and we're gonna go back to scenes again and I'm going to add that scene back in, click OK and there we go. There is our camera green screen. You can see I'm just a floating head. It takes up a lot less space and it's so much less intrusive to do a green screen face cam like this. Let me show you how to do it if you didn't wanna do it on a nested scene. I can just click the plus go to video capture device, select my normal camera, since I put the green screen on there. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna crop this up so we get the parts that aren't covered by the green screen out of there. So I use the Alt key and I just drag these edges. You can see they turn green when you crop it. And now all I need to do is shrink it up and put it in the right location. Now, of course, it's already registering that I did the chroma on it because I'm using the same camera that we used for the nested scene. So there we go. Now we have that all cropped up and we can move it around. And this is how you would add it if you didn't want to use a nested scene. It's really just that simple. You just add the camera and you know, you add the chroma filter and you're good to go. What is your favorite style of face cam? Let me know in the comments. And if you want to see how to use cool face masks on your live stream, check this video out. And if you're always looking for tools, tips, and tricks to help make you a better YouTuber, subscribe to the channel. My name is Michael Fire Jr. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.